hello fellow space engineers uh, it's been a while so here we go right into it what have I been up to well I'm gonna change the sound here for a quick second uh, sorry about that I had the crank I forgot why I had to turn down so low and now I know so here we go so there's a new update in town and what that allows is for you to control the blocks so whether it be well, I'll show you what I've done with it basically it allows you to transmit power th through blocks and there's no welding sound that's interesting through blocks uh, to other kind of devices that uh, that you can activate through control panels and everything now so it's just uh, uh, this game is getting just better and better sure it's alpha but it's getting fun uh, the faction stuff that's kind of interesting um, I can see that stuff happening more when I don't know when you have more players in the world and it's more I guess offensive but then what's the point of fighting each other right like it's kind of like rust in that sense you know what's the point of fighting each other because you just get down to the the nuts and bolts and what's the point of building bases and all that fun stuff without the actual functionality? So that's kind of what I struggle with within this game here. So hopefully uh, uh, things will be a little bit more creative and we're going to kind of take a Minecraft approach to Space Engineers. I've been kind of thinking about it. So this is what I've been up to, you guys. This amazing thing. It took me a while to figure it out. Uh, you only need one piston to push the door open and closed. And uh, what I've done because of the size of the door, I need to figure out uh, how to extend to the middle. <laughs> and I pretty much got it to where there's this crack in the middle. So things are, are really good in that sense. Um, I have tested it. It has opened and closed. Uh, but I want to do it on video here. So... Let's see here. Let's. I just need to change some settings in the pistons. I don't like how fast they go, so we're gonna make it uh, like that. Okay. So let's we'll slow them down a bit. I think that's actually. I think that'd be a neat effect to have this one go slower than this one, because this one has more distance to travel. So this one will keep at the, the 0.5. Okay, now that's is just happening on the fly, so let's change the other side, so that way it looks even. And I have to say, you know, the developers on this have done a really great job. I'm surprised. Four, th three, okay. So what I've done is I created a group on here, and so let's see. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, so I created a group in our our ship here, main ship here. Uh, go there. See, I, I've called them blast doors. And we'll do this. And all it all it takes is a simple reverse, and it will activate all of them. Watch. Okay, hurry up, hurry up. Uh, look at that. Look at that amazingness. Wow. I just love it. Now, it's the first time I'm moving it with those new kind of parts to it, but I think everything should be all right. Yeah, even here, because I have it sliding on the bottom ultimately. I think I'm going to put a kind of a track on the top as well, just in case, and then bring it down to attach it to the back of this. So see, they're all compressed, and the doors are open. These ones here on the left are like this on purpose because I want to, to see what it looked like. And it's just perfect. I'm still working on the inside here. I need to weld, weld, weld. Um, I did this part underneath, so that's pretty cool. Uh, nothing really new up here. It's kind of the same old uh, area. I'm going to have to add some lighting here because that's going to change a lot. Yeah. Let's see if we can kind of weld. Yeah. Oh, I have changed the welding speed, I think, to double. Uh, not to times five, but I think that's a little bit too fast, because I still like to weld. 
but it's a lot quicker now so I figured this would help speed up construction um, but it only seems to speed up by how oh, wait that's right it's missing materials that's why <laughs> it only seems to speed up by hand so um, oh wait that's not it how do you use oh T um, yeah so it's been it's been interesting um, I haven't really worked on too much else in here um, just some welding I kind of created this aspect here I was kind of looking what I want to do with with this wall and with the thruster positioning but now because of the door this all has to go out more you know that way so um, I don't know if there's going to be an underneath to the ship now uh, I'm kind of trying to just build as the updates happen and you see what we can come up with so still massive in size but I'm gonna start working on the outside sh shell I think let's turn the jet back on yeah I'm gonna remove these thrusters here except to move them out a little bit more I might move them out probably about I don't know, five blocks one actually it's kind of I don't know, shoot I don't have any steel let's grab some steel plates um, I'm also going to have to make an interceptor ship, I think, because I'm going to need to go grab some more materials. I'm running low on plates. I started out with 40,000, uh, or 45,000, I think, and now I'm down you know, to half of that. And there's <laughs> tons of work to be done. <laughs> oh, man. Building a huge ship by hand is crazy. That's all i got to say. Uh, one, two three four five so I might actually put them out here so that way they're sticking out here but then I can kind of make it straight flat okay no no I'm gonna have to work on the outside on the front here I think is what's gonna end up happening yeah so this is gonna have to change I think I'm gonna have to extend it out by a block or two well, that's a pain in the butt, so I'm going to have to rip this all apart, I guess. This one little edge here. And I'm going to probably extend it a block. And, yeah, here, let's close the door. I think that's about it. I'll come back. I'll, you know, this is going to be just a short video. Um, as you can tell, I haven't really been playing it, only until lately. Uh, thank you everybody for watching. Uh, thank you to the new subscribers out there. I noticed there's a couple new subscribers that have come on and I appreciate all of that support. And here we go. Look at this. Closing doors. And I appreciate all of you guys out there just still continuing to stay as subscribers to Yeah, it's just good. It's good. It's good to make these videos just to show my progress, just to have somebody out there to see it. So no matter how cool or, or mundane it may be. Oh, yeah, see, it's going. So they've done a really good job with this stuff. There's probably some bugs that they need to iron out. But bang, look at that. Beautiful. And it works as expected. So yeah, so all of you have a great day. Uh, have a good, oh, where's my ship? <laughs> have a good time building. And I'll see you with the next update. Um, probably what I'll end up doing is I'll work on this side of the ship just to get an idea of what I'm going to do on the other side and I'll show you once I've done that progress so yeah so you all have a great day and oh look at this what's this here why is this bent wow um, so for some reason not sure if it's the gravity or yeah weird this is the first time I wonder why it's doing that it's not supposed to be doing that so these piston door things are a real uh, buggy I have to say um, I we'll have to change this to something stronger I have to use, uh, yeah, no, that's just there, just in the front. 
just says open and close. So I don't know. I might have to keep the gravity off when you open and close the doors. Might be something to do with that. Yeah. But anyways, you all have a great day. And I'll see you in the next episode.